I am at Cocoa Beach. This is my local beach. It's the closest beach to Orlando. It's the one I drive to um, most mornings for sunrise. I choose a part of the beach that's actually pretty quiet. You can see there's nobody on that side. And just a couple people have arrived over here to watch the sun. Today, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing friend, Clarissa Beth of Crochet Cakes is coming to join me. She should be here any minute. The sun isn't gonna rise for another 10 to 15 minutes. And I think our plan is just watch the sunrise, soak in some rays, maybe do a little knitting and crocheting. Clarissa Beth is an amazing baker and chef. Uh, I think she's bringing some snacky goodies I have brought a Publix fruit bowl <laughs> and some little like dessert pastries that I also found at Publix. Um, but I'll show you before she gets here. I made her a little present. I was playing around with beading. I don't know if you can read. The one says knitting tipsy and the other one says smut slut. Because I am what I am and I'm proud of it. Um, but I made Clarissa Beth a set. Hers says crochet cakes. And then I know Clarissa loves her tea and I was playing around with some different beading. I'm not sure if I love it or hate it, but this one just says tea lover. So just a little prezzy from my inner child to hers. It's so beautiful here might not be able to see the sun just as it comes up. There are some clouds on the horizon there, but I think we'll still have a golden, glowy, beautiful morning. I spot <laughs> it's Clarissa Beth. Yay! We'll wait till she gets closer. Look at our smorgasbord here. We have quesitos and cucumber sandwich, fruit. My my Publix run. <laughs> Clarissa Beth has cooked everything, and I'm like Publix. No, it is the Hi, Clarissa. Oh, it's got a front camera. It does, isn't that nice? The sun should be rising in one minute. Oh, yay. Kind of see it out on the horizon. I was hoping those clouds would clear up so we could see. Oh, <gasps> there it is! <laughs> yay! I don't know why every time it's like so exciting. There she is. Just as I was pouring tea. Yep. Yeah. Good morning, sun. Gonna be a good day. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make this sweater? I did. It is I fucking did. gorgeous. It's I all love it. Leftovers. But I actually ripped this back recently because I never liked the rib and I redid it. And now Is this one of your patterns? No. This was I saw a video, I think it was Rosina of Scenes on Roger. Okay. Um she did what she called the oddments party, which is just you take a lot of, you know, leftover yarn mm -hmm. and you do a tarja crochet and you just Oh, it's so good. And I had to add the extra. This is a whole vibe, like with the hat and the overall and everything. It's such a vibe. And show what's underneath. Okay, see that little little booby peak there? That is her shell yeah top. <laughs> Guess who else wore her shell yeah today? 
We're twinning. We're twinning. And tell us about your project that you're oh. picking up your stitches for. So this is a sweater that I, or a top, that I promised my husband a year ago. <laughs> and I knit it for a hobbit, apparently. And my husband is six <laughs> feet. So I am just picking up stitches so that I can lengthen the body. I did one sleeve already, somewhere. I, like the, this, I don't know if they'll one. be able to see. It's hard to see drape some of the times, but this yarn is so lightweight and so drapey. Yeah, I so love I, it. Ah, oh, oh, it's you. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. What are you working on, Chelsea? I have, I thought I was done, but I need to pick back up. This is my Jasper Cardi that I started on our anniversary trip. I have one more inch to knit for the back panel, and then I can pick up, I actually think, I don't know which way to put the camera. <laughs> I actually think that I'm going to not follow the pattern. I am going to do the armhole shaping, but instead of binding off to yeah. seam later, I think I'm going to put them on some yarn so that I can do a three needle bind off. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I just, I don't, I, I love seaming, but if there's like a simpler way to kind of get a cleaner join. No, I understand. Especially in knitting, I find mattress stitch for some reason so hard. I love doing mattress stitch if one fabric is knit and one fabric is crochet. I think oh, that looks okay. incredible. And I love mattress stitch with two pieces of crochet fabric. Okay. It's like smooth and seamless. I do like it and it can be nice in knitting too, but especially for shoulder seams, I want like that more structure yeah. and support, so. I usually cheat and if I need to seam in knitting, which I rarely do. Like I mm. only do knitting if it's like a one piece garment. Yeah. Uh, but if I need to seam, I crochet the seams. That's great. Yeah, you can do a slip stitch or yeah. like a single crochet. And yeah. sometimes I'll even like pick up the stitches in crochet. Oh, nice. And then seam it that way just for a little bit of extra structure. And it gives you like a nice kind of, yeah, yeah you get that seam look to yeah. the side too, which yeah. I think can be really pretty. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. So I'll probably do that for the shoulders. And then the shoulders... Once you do the front front panels with it, you are gonna seam the side, which I'm totally fine with that. But then it's knitting the sleeves flat, and then you do like the three, can, I won't be doing that. I will be picking up the sleeves in the round. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I have discovered that I don't like knitting sleeves flat because I'm not great. I'm not as precise and as careful of a person to perfectly align oh, yeah. the sleeve it. with the two parts. Yeah, that's not, I'm not great at it. And I don't, my seams sometimes aren't pretty. Right. So. Yeah, I'm going to definitely be picking up the picking up the sleeves for that one. But yeah, that's what I brought. I also brought my other whip, but I'm not working on it because I'm saving it for Disney next week. But this, you, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the sparkle of the Stellina. Maybe let's go this way. They have so much sparkle. It is yeah. so sparkly in real life. It stops yeah. blowing in the wind. My assistant. Maybe against the black. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. I hope you guys can see that sparkle because it's so pretty. It's so good. This is the tendril wrap by Montana Crochet. So, you know, just brought it to in case I wanted to do a couple stitches with it, but. Some stitches blue. Huh, that's okay. <laughs> see, that's the other nice thing about crochet. You lose a few stitches, it's like, eh, fuck it. I uh, know, I lose stitches. Not that big I'm of like, a deal. Oh, okay, everybody be silent. <laughs> Shh. I've got to pick them up. And then you got to drop down the rows. Yep. But knitting is also lovely. We love our knitting. It's just, we do. yeah. I have to show you guys this. Talk about not being a careful part. Do you see all the sand that I've kicked up onto my towel? My husband is always in awe at how covered I get with sand. He's like, how? How do you get the towel that covered? How do you? And I'm like, just, I'm not a careful person. I don't, I don't notice. And I also don't care. The sand doesn't bother me. Are you horrified, everyone in YouTube land, that my project is in the sand? Yes. And I'm just, <laughs> are you? <laughs> and I'm like, here, just, just rub it in. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. My garment is going to be infused with sand, sunshine, sunscreen, and joy. I mean, best thing of life. And then I'll block it. And it'll be fine. <laughs> Blocking solves seventy percent of all issues. We we did determine that today. Seventy percent. Not sure. It'll block out. It'll block out. That is 
that is the faith that I put into blocking. I mean, to be fair, that's what I do too. Yeah. If I don't have enough yarn, it'll block out. It'll block out. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. So blocking, put your faith in blocking, my child. The ocean is lovely. I might make my little ocean offering. Okay. Because I pissed off the ocean and the beach gods the other day. Um, I picked up a seashell on a beach that I had a feeling. I was like, maybe I shouldn't be taking a seashell from here. And the beach decided to take my phone, fell out of my purse, and I didn't notice and walked on and then spent an hour searching for it in the sand. And it wasn't until I was like, is this what? So I put the seashells back, found the phone five minutes later. Maybe I would have found the phone anyways, but yeah, maybe know. I wouldn't have. So I have brought an offering to my beautiful ocean and my beautiful beach in the form of flowers and seashells. And we're gonna make a little design. Thank the beach for giving me my phone back and to apologize. So keep picking up those stitches, girl. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like a little gremlin. <laughs> No sharks on land. We really appreciate that gift yep, as well. I do. Video, right? No. Okay. <laughs> so you can at least see my phone. <laughs> Just showing how sandy I can get. sand in your alcohol <laughs> it happens it's just it's extra fiber minerals minerals fiber minerals maybe it like roughs things up in there for you <laughs> some roughage mineral water mineral food i wonder if this is the If you ever want to keep something hot, not paid, not sponsored, but damn. <laughs> but if they want to sponsor Clarissa. <laughs> Sujuruchi, I have your rice maker and your uh, thermos. This is thermos, the, right? the tea is still hot. It is, I burned myself today. Twice, twice in one day she's burned herself. I have been blessed. This is your free foot content. Enjoy. No, no, no. You charge for that, Chelsea. Okay. I'll put I'll put a little thing yeah, over the toes. Censored. Yeah. Censored. Censor the toes. You get tits for free, but not the toes. <laughs> All right. We have to pack up so we can go home and do work. Yay. What are you doing at home? Editing? Uh, yeah. Just a whole bunch of edits and maybe a photo shoot for a <gasps> golden hour. Clarissa Beth has a that. new design coming out. Yeah. It is her secret, secret garden. garden vest slash top. It can be both. It is gorgeous. I will insert photo here if I remember. Oh yeah, I'll send you some. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna be working on that pattern and yep. doing some editing. Yeah. I'm going to go home to edit a new series that I'm starting called Magical Making. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a little witchy. Little witchy, a little magical. But we have to say goodbye to Ocean. And thank you for Hi, the rejuvenating vibes. Yes, indeed. And if you're not having sharks. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us on our beach day. We'll see you later.
Bye.